Hello, welcome to us. We are discussing binomial theorem. Uh, this is lecture number uh, you have already watched one, two, three before watching this part four. And in this lecture, I am going to discuss about the middle term and how to deal with middle term. Start the topic of the day, right? Okay. So, uh, we are going to discuss, as I said, about the middle term. So, middle term, the topic is middle term in x binomial expansion binomial expansion this is the topic which we have to discuss so what is binomial expansion in expansion of x plus y to the power n this is the binomial expansion depending upon the value of n middle term can be there why because uh, let me explain this something. If you write x plus y to the power 2, then this will be x square plus 2xy plus y square, isn't it? So, this is the middle term. If you write x plus y, the expression will be x cube plus 3x square y plus 3xy square plus y cube. It means, uh, which one is middle term? What will say about middle term? There are two middle terms. This one and this one are two middle terms, right? So, these two are middle terms. <coughs> so, when power is an even, the total number of power will be odd because always it is one more. So, if power is 2, the total number of uh, terms will be 3. If power is 4, then total number of terms will be 5. And in 5, the middle one can be obtained. This one is middle one. Because if there is an odd number, middle one can be easily obtained. Right now, that is the middle one. This is called middle term right so to this side to this side and middle one is this one right you can get it but when there is an odd power then total number of terms will be even in that case there will be two middle term right now so here uh, depending upon whether power is an even or an odd the number of middle terms can be decided and can be calculated right now so i hope you understood it so, power when n is now consider the two different cases when power is an even or power is an odd, right now. So, we can write here <coughs> when n is an even, then what will happen? Total number of power will be odd, right? Okay. So, we can consider case first. Case first when n is an even even then total number of power total number of terms total number of terms in the expansion total number of terms number of terms number of terms terms in expansion in expansion will be n plus 1 which is an odd number, right? Because if n is even, n plus 1 is odd. In that case, the middle term can be obtained. In that case, the middle term can be obtained. And therefore, middle term in this expansion, in that case, x plus y to the power n is obtained by by n is even so n by 2 plus 1 th term n by 2 plus 1 th term n by 2 plus 1 th term let me explain this here if you will put 2 so 2 by 2 2 is even 2 by 2 is 1 1 plus 1 is second so this is second term no? so middle term middle term can be obtained by n by 2 plus 1 th term case 2 when n is an odd number, when n is an odd number, n is an odd, the total number of terms, total number of terms, terms will be n plus 1, terms, total number of terms will be n plus 1 and that is an even, right? So, in that case, there are 
टू मिडिल टर्म्स इज एन प्लस वन विच इज एन इवन इन दैट केस देर आर देर आर टू मिडिल टर्म्स इन दैट केस देर आर टू मिडिल टर्म्स देर आर टू मिडिल टर्म्स टू मिडिल टर्म्स गिवेन बाई एन इज एन ऑड सो एन प्लस वन बाई टू एन प्लस वन इज इवन इवन बाई टू टर्म एंड एन प्लस वन बाई टू प्लस वन एच टर्म terms are two middle terms these are two middle terms remember this n plus 1 by 2th term and n plus 1 by 2 plus 1th term are two middle term you can check it here 3 plus 1 4 by 2 that is second second term is middle this is 3 plus 1 by 2 that is second term is middle term and there after one more that is third term so second and third these two conjugative terms are middle terms right now i hope you got it okay the coefficient of middle terms are you can write here this will be one less than the n plus 1 by 2th term so the coefficient of middle term this is an extra knowledge but you write here so just the coefficient of middle term coefficient of middle terms are middle terms are binomial coefficients of middle terms are n c n minus 1 by 2 and n c n plus 1 by 2 right so binomial middle coefficient of binomial coefficient of middle terms are this anyway this is not required now let us uh, solve some questions related to this so again we are going to start from the exercise exercise <coughs> exercise <coughs> size 8.2 and question number 6 7 question number 7 right find the middle term the question is given find the middle term find the middle term in the expansion of terms in the expansion of in the expansion of <coughs> it is given here 3 minus x cube by 6 whole to the power 7 So here power is seven. So total number of terms will be eight, and n is seven is odd, and therefore there are two middle terms. Since here solution, I can write solution. N is seven, and which is an odd number. Then there are two middle term. Then there are. <coughs> Two middle terms. There are two middle terms. Two middle terms. Two middle terms. And these are given by what? That is seven plus one by twoth term and seven plus one by two plus oneth term are are middle terms. Middle terms. <clears throat> right now okay so 7 plus 1 by 2 that is fourth term and fifth term so fourth term and fifth term are middle terms here that is we can conclude here that fourth and fifth term, fifth term fourth and fifth term fifth term are middle terms are middle terms we can write now the general term in the expansion the in the expansion general term in this one what is that 3 minus 
x to the power 3 by 6 3 minus x to the power 3 by 6 is equal to power 7 is what tr plus 1 h term that is 3 to the power 7 cr 7 cr 7 cr 3 to the power 7 r minus x cube by 6 whole to the power r. So for fourth term put r is equal to 3 and for fifth term r is equal to 4. So putting r is equal to r is equal to 3 and r is equal to 4 respectively putting r is equal to 3 and r is equal to 4 respectively then what will come fourth term will be what 7 c 3 3 to the power 7 minus 3 that is 4 and minus x cube by 6 whole to the power 3 that will be 7 c 3 3 to the power 4 and minus power odd so minus will come here and x to the power 9 divided by 6 to the power 3. If you calculate it uh, you will get it here that 7 c 3 is nothing else but 7 into 6 into 5 upon 3 into 2 that can cancel and here 3 to the power 4 is 81 81 divided by 6 q is 216 isn't it x to the power 9 so that further can be cancelled by 9 9 9 j 81 and 9 can cancel 9 to j 18 and 9 4 j 36 again this cancel by 3 and this can be cancelled by 8 so 7 5 j 35 35 into 3 is 105 divided by 8 x to the power 9 this is the first middle term now second term middle term is obtained by putting r is equal to 5 4 so r is equal to 4 this will be t5 is equal to r is equal to 4 then t5 is equal to 7 c 4 3 to the power 7 minus 4 that is 3 minus 6 q by 6 to the power 4 so that will be coming here because power is an even so it will be positive so 7 c 4 3 to the power 3 into x to the power 12 upon 6 to the power 4 that further can be calculated as 7 c 3 and 7 c 4 both are equal to 35 into this is 3 to the power 3 is 27 x to the power 12 divided by 6 to the power 4 is 1 2 9 6 so that can be cancelled by <coughs> 9 so 9 3 is 27 and 9 can cancel this 9 1 is 9 and 3 uh, 9 4 is 36 9 4 is 36. So this can be cancelled and 3 can cancel this 48 times. So the answer is 35 upon 48 x to the power 12. So there are two middle terms 105 minus 105 hence two middle terms are hence two middle terms are what are those minus 105 upon minus 105 upon 8x to the power 9 8x to the power 9 and 35 by 48 x to the power 12 that will be answered <coughs> now the next question is find the question number 8 and question number 8 they also write find the middle terms question is that find the middle terms middle term find the middle term in the expansion of middle terms in the expansion of expansion of it is given what is that question is x by 3 plus 9y whole to the power 10. So for solution we can write here n is 10 which is an even. Therefore middle term is middle term is only one is n plus 1 
n by 2 plus 1th term. 1th term is middle term and that is 10 by 2 plus 1th term which is 10 by 2 plus 1th term. 1th term, right? That is 6th term. So, 6th term is middle term. 6th term is middle term, right? So, right here 6th term in the expansion and therefore 6th term that is r is equal to 5 now plus 1 r plus 1 h term in the expansion in what is the expansion? Expansion is x by 3 9 y to the power 10. So, 10 c 5 r is 5 now. So, here we write 10 c 5 and x to the power 10 minus 5 that is x by 3 to the power x by 3 to the power 10 minus 5 and 9y to the power 5 isn't it x to the power n minus r and y to the power r you can write general term and put r is equal to 5 as well there is no problem and that is the same thing you can do it but you have learned it lot so you can do it directly there is no problem so that will come up here 10 factorial upon 5 factorial into 5 factorial right this will be an x to the power 5 and here 3 to the power 5 3 to the power 5 and 9 to the power 5 and y to the power 5 so that further can be calculated as 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 upon into 6 divided by 5 factorial is 120 right so 120 this is and here x to the power 5 y to the power 5 into 9 by 3 to the power 5 so 9 divided by 3 that is 3 and whole to the power 5 that is 3 to the power 5 so this will cancel 0 0 6 can cancel this 2 times and 2 can cancel this 4 times so what will happen this will be 9 4 36 into 7 36 into 7 into 3 to the power 5 is 243 and x to the power 5 y to the power 5 so you can write here so after multiplying this you will get this one and that will be the answer of this question now the next question is question number 10 9 right the question number 9 is there and what is that question number 9 is described about in the expansion of in the expansion of expansion of 1 plus a to the power m plus n prove that prove that the coefficient of coefficient of a to the power m and a to the power n right so the solution can be uh, here uh, you know we know that 1 plus x to the power n is what n c 0 plus n c 1 x plus n c 2 x square like this n c r x to the power r and n c n x to the power n we know that all so coefficient of therefore coefficient of coefficient of x to the power r in 1 plus x to the power n is equal to n c r right similarly we can write similarly the coefficient of coefficient of a to the power m in 1 plus a to the power m plus n is nothing else but m plus n c m right m plus n c m here in place of r see this there is an m isn't it in place of r there is an m so in place of r i can write here m and in place of n there is m plus n so i used here to write m plus n also m plus n because in place of n there is m plus n so i can write here m plus n c also the coefficient of 
coefficient of a to the power n in 1 plus a whole to the power m plus n is m plus cn. Now we can calculate them and uh, we will find it. This is 1 and this is 2 say. So from 1 m plus n c m is equal to nothing nothing else but m plus n factorial upon m factorial and m plus n minus m factorial. So what will come that will be m plus n factorial divided by m m cancel m factorial n factorial right now this is third. You can do that and now uh, from second m plus n c n is nothing else m plus n factorial divided by that will come here and uh, this will be also like uh, m plus n minus n factorial so that will be m plus n factorial and divided by n factorial m factorial because here n n cancel and this is same so from third and fourth we can say from third and fourth we can say coefficient of x to the power m coefficient of m is equal to coefficient of a to the power m and shortcut there is also there is one formula which can be used here that is there is a formula like n c r n c n minus r this is the formula you know that and therefore because uh, sum of these two if there is a sum of these two is equal to sum of these two is like n c r n c n minus r and therefore we can write here further that a therefore m plus n a m is equal to m plus n a n and no need to all do all these things you can do it and you can do it right now so this is a shortcut shortcut you know that you can do it also so this is shortcut method now the question is uh, next question and that is question number 10 question number 10 is the coefficient of 10th question, the coefficient of r minus 1th term, coefficient of r minus 1th, rth and r plus 1th, rth and r plus 1th, 1th term in the expansion of terms in the expansion of expansion of x plus 1 to the power n r in ratio r in ratio 1 is to 3 is to 5 1 is to 3 is to 5 find n and r this is what the question so the solution can be you can write solution we know the coefficient of the coefficient of x to the power r, r plus 1th term in expansion of r plus 1th term r plus 1th term of x plus 1 to the power n is what n c r x to the power n minus r 1 to the power r so therefore the coefficient of r plus 1th term coefficient of r plus 1th term r plus 1th term is ncr similarly similarly coefficient of coefficient of rth term is ncr minus 1 and coefficient of r minus 1th term 
and coefficient of coefficient of r minus 1th term is n c r minus 2 1 less than r plus 1th term then r rth term then r minus 1 r minus 1 -th term then 1 less than that r minus 2 so they are it is given that r minus 1th term here try to understand this is r minus 1 term rth term and r plus 1 term are in ratio 1 is to 3 is to 5 so according to question we can write here according to question n c r minus 2 n c r minus 1 n c r is equal to 1 is to 3 is to 5 right 1 is to 3 is to 5 so this is given now we can write n c r upon n c r minus 1 is equal to 5 by 3 this employee n c r n minus r plus 1 upon r is equal to 5 by 3 you can simplify this further by using factorials but uh, i suggest that you remember n c r upon n c r minus 1 is equal to n minus r minus 1 upon r whatever things is in denominator that r minus 1 to be taken negative and r will be this one will divide here this side so remember this uh, this one will come this side and this one will come this side if it is one less than so using this fact you can write here and this is the formula in fact n minus r plus 1 upon r so what i did here because of this negative sign it will be a positive sign so this one will come you can do it by uh, using this or you can do it like uh, uh, expensive using expensive also so you can uh, it depends all on you that how you want to do this but it will save time if you use this formula then what will happen in that case this will be uh, further we can write it that three times this employee 3n minus 3r plus 3 is equal to 5r so we can write 3n is equal to 5r plus 3r will be 8r minus 3 this is one equation again uh, using the same tricks we have n c r minus 1 upon n c r minus 2 can be written as n minus this one r minus 2 upon this one r minus 1 will come denominator and r minus 2 n minus niche wala upon upar wala and that will be what that is given 3 by 1 so using this fact you will be uh, able to write here that is 3 by 1 so we can write it n minus r plus 2 is equal to 3 r minus 3 so that will be further n is equal to r will come this side it will be 4 r and 2 will come this side it will be minus 4 r minus 5 this is second so from first and second we have we get what is this both are equal to 8 r 8 r minus 3 is equal to 4 r minus 5 so it can come here that uh, 8 r minus 4 r 4 r is equal to what will come this will be 4 r 8 r minus 4 r 4 r is equal to 8 and therefore r is equal to 2 and now from second n is equal to r is 2 4 to 8 minus 5 8 minus 5 n is equal to 3 that will be answered so solution is n is equal to 3 and r is equal to 2 this is the solution so i hope you got it now the next question is here and question number this is a 11 11 question is there and the proof that the coefficient of question is prove that the coefficient of coefficient of prove that the coefficient of x to the power n in the expansion in the expansion expansion of 1 plus x to the power 2n is twice is twice 
the coefficient of the coefficient of x to the power n in the expansion of in the expansion of expansion of 1 plus x to the power 2n minus 1. So this is the question. Uh, we have to deal with this question. So using the concept we can write here that coefficient of x to the power r is ncr since we know the coefficient of x to the power r coefficient of you know coefficient of x to the power r in 1 plus x to the power n is ncr right now so similarly coefficient of therefore coefficient of coefficient of x to the power n in 1 plus x to the power 2n minus 1 is in place of n there is 2n minus 1 and c in place of r there is n so 2n minus 1 c n that is nothing else but uh, 2n minus 1 factorial upon n factorial and 2n minus 1 minus n factorial so this is 2n minus 1 factorial divided by n factorial and 2n minus n is n minus 1 factorial this is first one right now we have to prove that coefficient of x to the power n this one in this is twice right now so coefficient of x to the power n similarly we can write coefficient of coefficient of x to the power n in 1 plus x to the power 2n is 2n c n that can be further written as 2n factorial upon n factorial and 2n minus can i write like this so this can be written as 2n minus n factorial so that can be written as 2n into 2n minus 1 factorial upon n factorial and this is 2n minus n is n factorial again right now so to cancel this n i can write here 2n into 2n minus 1 factorial this can be written as n factorial and this n factorial can be written as n into n minus 1 factorial so this n and this n is cancelled now this is 2 times of 2n minus 1 factorial divided by n factorial and n minus 1 factorial and this is what given in 1 this one so clearly uh, this 2n minus 1 cn right now. so this is a uh, 2 times of and this is what coefficient of coefficient of x to the power n in 1 plus x to the power 2n minus 1 so this is the proof of this uh, theorem right now so you can write coefficient right now so you can do this coefficient right so this is a proof i hope you got it now there is one more question and this uh, exercise that is 12 find the positive value of find the positive value of positive value of m for which for which the coefficient of x square coefficient of x square in the expansion in the expansion 1 plus x to the power m is 6 is 6 right now this is what given so you can write it and you can do this now for solution we can have solution coefficient of x square coefficient of x square in 1 plus x to the power m is mc2 because coefficient of x to the power r is mcr right now so here we know that and uh, coefficient of since 
and therefore mc2 must be equal to 6 and therefore mc2 is equal to 6 which is m into m minus 1 by 2 factorial that is 6 so m into m minus 1 is equal to 12 and therefore m is equal to this can be written as 4 into 3 now so m is 4 and that will be answered so you can solve it right now so m is 4 so hopefully you got all these questions what as they have uh, wanted to ask and uh, you understood each and every one and you practice them a lot right now because uh, practice is required and uh, also it is suggest that you solve all the questions given in exercise as well as the booklet which is given to you and solve them and if there is any problem ask in next class till then bye bye thank you